Hello, hello, my wondrous mortal soul. Venus Kalita here for a pre recorded episode of Riddle Me Din Din. It is Minions 2.0, and I'm very sorry I couldn't be here today, but I am exploring the world, gathering new ideas. Um, so I want to keep things interesting around here. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. So let's get to it. Here comes round one. Riddle me this. I'm yellow, outside, soft, inside, a luncheon favorite, enjoyed worldwide. What am I? Do 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 Riddle number two. I'm a brown <laughs> shell on the outside and my shape is an oval however I'm not an egg from a palm tree is where I fall from what am I Riddle number three. I'm a liqueur, the color of the sky. I taste like an orange. What name have I? Riddle number four. This is a popular tropical fruit which is used in a pina colada. The inside is yellow, sweet and juicy, while the outside is much harder and darker. What am I? Riddle number five. Ooh. In Oak's entrance, I quietly sleep. Years pass on secrets. I faithfully keep. What am I? Aging without a peep. Hmm. Do 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 Riddle number six. I'm a confectioner's treat whose name was chosen as a tribute to the blues musician Lead Belly. Is it Lead Belly? It's a Lead Belly. What is my name? Let's review our riddles. I have to stash my step it up a nose. In riddle number one, I'm yellow outside and soft inside. A luncheon favorite enjoyed worldwide. What am I? It's a banana, banana. And what we'll need for this recipe is a slice of banana as a garnish for the edge of each drinking glass. Was it? Oops, I gave away. I'm gonna be making a beverage here. In riddle number two, I have a brown shell on the outside and my shape is an oval. However, I'm not an egg from a palm tree so where I fall from. What am I? We're talking about a coconut. And in this recipe, we're going to need one and a half ounces of liquid from an under solidified um, tall can of coconut cream. 
cream, chilled, and divided. In riddle number three, I am a liqueur, the color of the sky. I taste like an orange. What name have I? We're talking about blue curacao. We'll need a half ounce of blue curacao, chilled. In the riddle number four, this is a popular tropical fruit, which is used in a pina colada. Love those. Its inside is yellow, sweet, and juicy, while the outside is much harder and darker. What am I? Well, we're talking about a pineapple, and we're going to need one ounce of pineapple juice chilled. In riddle number five, In Oak's embrace, I quietly sleep. Years pass as secrets I faithfully keep. What am I aging without a peep? We're talking about wine, and specifically we'll need one ounce of sparkling white wine, chilled, and hang on to that bottle. You're gonna need it for every round of this episode. White wine chilled, Expensive or cheap, doesn't matter. Whatever is your favorite. That's what you need. In riddle number six, I am a confectioner's treat whose name was chosen as a tribute to a blues musician. I'm saying lead belly, or it could be lead belly. Okay. What is my name? The answer is jelly belly. And actually, in the history of the Jelly Belly, it was named after this blue singer. And the red and blue emblem, or the logo of Jelly Bellies, it actually comes from, um, uh, inspired by this um, blues musician as well. <laughs> so for anyone who knows who's a fan, um, Jelly Bellies are meant to honor him. And I love that. These are Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. And we'll need them for a serving garnish. And they make this dish really pop. It makes it look really good. So Venus, you may wonder, what does this make exactly? It's my very own unique recipe um, for a minion bellinis. So to prepare them, in a liquid measuring cup, combine the curacao and one ounce of the coconut cream liquid. Pour the curacao mixture into a champagne flute, so a tall, basically tall, slender glass, um, by very slowly pouring it over the back of a bar spoon or an iced teaspoon, basically a tablespoon. Um, using the spoon, discard any foamy blue bits on top of the drink layer if you need to, then wipe the spoon down and clean it and the measuring cup because you're gonna need them again. Next, in the same cup, you're gonna combine the pineapple juice and the sparkling wine. Float the pineapple juice mixture on top of the blue layer. So you're gonna have a layer of yellow going down onto the layer of blue. We don't want them to blend. We want them to stay separated like a density tower, if you will. So, Again, to do this, you're going to pour it o slowly over the back of that bar spoon or tablespoon again. Now slowly lower one rounded ice cube with a blue grape inside of it or one dark jelly belly jelly bean into the top layer, the yellow layer of the serving, um, the serving cup to create the minion eyeball. <laughs> um, you can increase the liquid amounts for higher, higher layers to create a taller minion. And mm, so let's take a look at this little sipper. It should end up looking something like this. We're gonna float it right up here. Woo. Isn't that nice? It's very yummy. And then the grape or the ice cube with the grape or Ooh. 
or the jelly belly, the dark jelly belly. And the other thing you can do for this is get a nice long toothpick or metal skewer that goes atop, across the top of this drink and you make a little shish kebab of the different colored jelly bellies that you like and lay them across the top and voila. Now that we have our sipper for this evening, we need a meal that's going to go with it. It's going to pair well and I think I found just the thing. So we've got to feed the whole group crew and I found just the recipe I think will do. So ready or not, here we go with round number two. Riddle me this. Use me to coat the inside of your smoker quickly and evenly. What am I? Do 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 Riddle number two. Mario and Luigi would love to eat this. What is it? Na 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 but I'll say it's a good topper for banana pancakes too. Banana! <laughs> Alright. In riddle number four. If you don't want to shape... Oh, if you don't want to share your food with a vampire... Add me to the ingredients. What am I? Riddle number five. The Smurfs live in these. What are they? Riddle number six. From Roman feast to your table today, across time and space, I find my way. What am I? I'm enjoyed. Well, many play. Da 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 Riddle number eight. This bird seems to frequently cross roads. <laughs> Which bird is it? Dun 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 Riddle number nine. Did you hear about the cheese that got into a fight? What'd you hear? Riddle number ten. I am small but powerful. I add flavor to your dish. Sprinkle me lightly, for I am a chef's wish.
what am I? Riddle number 11. I am a space that is derived. Oh, I'm a spice. I'm so sorry. I am a spice that is derived from the dried unique berries of the Piper Ingram plant. I add flavor and heat to your food. What am I? Riddle number 12. What kind of key do you use on Thanksgiving? Riddle number 13. What did the mouse say to the friend when he won the best hand in poker? Mmm. Real number fourteen. I am a seed with three letters in my name. Take away the last two, and I still sound the same. What am I? Riddle number 15. I am a culinary herb used fresh or dried when found in Italian cooking. A name have I? Riddle number 16. What did the turkey say when he found out you were lying? Huh. <laughs> What did the baker say when you found out you were lying? We're having quite a day. I'm so distracted by all the minions and the bananas. La 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 Riddle number 17. You can find me on top of veal and chicken. Grate me to dress your Italian dishes. What am I? Riddle number 18. From green I change to black. Then they carefully crush me into fine gold they finally transform me what am i hmm well i'm so i don't know how many of these Riddles you were able to solve. Let's find out right now. In riddle number one, you use me to coat the inside of your smoker quickly and evenly. So you can't do that with a brush. You've got to use cooking spray. In riddle number two, Mario and Luigi would love to eat this. Well, they're my favorite Italian plumbers. It's spaghetti, and we'll need one pound of spaghetti for this recipe. 
And riddle number three, I'm the savory star of the sizzling skillet. What am I? And I mentioned it's great to top off on banana pancakes too. But -da -da! it's what makes that sizzle? <laughs> it's butter. And we'll need about six tablespoons of butter divided for this recipe. In riddle number four, if you don't want to share your food with a vampire, then add me to your ingredients. What am I? It's garlic, and we'll need two cloves of garlic minced. Now, the Smurfs live in these. What are they? Mushrooms. And we'll need a pound of sliced baby bell mushrooms for this recipe. From Roman heart, ta heart feasts, <laughs> from Roman feasts to your table today, across time and space, I find my way. What am I employed in many a play? I'm enjoyed in many a play. What am I? It's white wine. <laughs> you might be wondering, but no, I have not drank any today. We'll need a half cup of white wine. Use the same brand that you used in the Minion Bellini that we made in round one so that the flavors will work together, that it will be a good pairing. All right, and riddle number seven. I'm a general use powder made from wheat and used in baking. What am I? It's all purpose flour. And we'll need a quarter cup for this recipe. And riddle number eight. This bird seems to frequently cross the road. What bird is it? It's the chicken. No trick here. So what we're gonna need is two and a half cups of low sodium chicken broth for this recipe. Uh, riddle number nine. Did you hear the one about the cheese that got into a fight? What'd you hear? He got creamed. He he he. So really what we need here is one cup of heavy cream. For this recipe. In riddle number 10, I am small but powerful. I add flavor to your dish. Sprinkle me lightly, for I am a chef's wish. What am I? It's kosher salt. Okay. Riddle number 11, I am a space that is derived from the dried, unripe berries of the Piper Ingram. Plant. Oh, it's a spice. I'm so sorry. I did that twice. I'm a spice. Okay, from the Piper Ingram plant. Piper, I add flavor and heat to your food. What am I? If you say Piper five times pat fast, you might get it. Piper, 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 Pepper. So we need freshly ground black pepper to taste for this recipe. Riddle number 12. What kind of key do you use on Thanksgiving? Don't hate me now. It's a turkey. Turkey. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> so sorry. Dad joke time. Um, all right. And then what you're going to need is two pounds of leftover roasted turkey meat. Chop it up. It's about three cups worth. In riddle number 13, what did the mouse say to his friend when he won the last hand in poker? Cheddar luck next time, bud. Cheddar luck, cheddar. So we're going to need one cup of shredded white cheddar for this recipe. <laughs> and riddle number 14, I... <laughs> I am a seed with three letters in my name. Take away the last two, and I still sound the same. What am I? P, P-E-A, drop the E-A, you still have a P. It's pea. We'll need one cup of frozen peas for this recipe. Here we go. I'm a culinary herb. Used fresh or dried. Often found in Italian cooking. And I'm actually putting it in a sauce I'm making right now. What am I? It's oregano. And you need one teaspoon of dried oregano for this recipe. All right, almost done. Riddle number 16. What did the baker say when she found out you were lying? 
You broke my crest. I broke my crest instead of broke my trust. Okay, so I broke my crust. And what do you get when you break bread and you're breaking up the crust? You get bread crumbs. I only need one cup of panko bread crumbs for this recipe. Almost there. Number 17. You can find me on top of veal and chicken. Great me to dress your Italian dishes. What am I? <gasps> it's freshly grated Parmesan, and you'll need a half cup for this recipe. And finally, last but not least, riddle number 18. From green I changed to black, and they carefully crushed me into fine gold. They finally transformed me. What am I? This is extra virgin olive oil, golden. It's two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil that we need for this recipe. So Venus, you may ask, what does this make? This makes Gru's turkey tetrazzini, and it is super yummy and very filling. So let's go. You're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and you're going to grease... Uh, 9 by, I don't know, 13 inch baking dish and cooking spray. In a large pot of boiling water, you're going to salt it and you're going to cook the spaghetti according to the package directions, then drain it. Next, in a large Dutch oven, over medium heat, melt two tablespoons of the butter, add the garlic and cook until it's fragrant, just about one minute. Then add the mushrooms in and the wine and cook until most of the wine is absorbed and the mushrooms are soft. So we'll take about, let's say, three to five minutes, closer to the five minute mark, keep an eye on it. And now, add the remaining four tablespoons of butter to the skillet, then whisk in the flour and cook until golden. Three minutes will be about how long it will take. Slowly add in the broth and the cream and whisk until there are no lumps remaining. You can use a fork for this, or a whisk will do. Simmer until thickened, which will take about five minutes. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Next, add the turkey, the cheese, the peas, and the oregano, and toss until it's all combined. And the cooked spaghetti, you're gonna add it in, and you're gonna toss it to coat it. Season with the salt and pepper, then transfer the mixture into a prepared dish. And then, in a medium bowl, toss to combine the panko parmesan and oil. Like the panko breadcrumbs, parmesan and oil. Uh, you're going to tip the baking dish, top the baking dish evenly with the panko mixture. Next. You're going to bake the whole thing till the top is golden and the cheese is melty. This will take about 25 minutes. Finally, let the meal cool for about 10 minutes before you serve it so nobody burns their tongue. <laughs> nobody ever waits when you say, I just took it out of the oven. you got to warn them. This is super delicious and also nutritious to feed a whole busy family like the Gru's. And I want to show it to you. Here it is. Ooh, yummy for our tummies. It's for Gru and the Gru crew. Have a look, have a look. Look at all that. Look at all that. Look at that yummy goodness. Yes, that is what we're going for. Okay, I'm gonna put that over here for now. Whoop. Okay, good job. Now, we've got our sipper, we've got a main, and they both use the same white wine. Now, if you've got anything left in that bottle, we've got one more to come up. Here comes round number three. Riddle me this. I rhyme with tray, bray, fray, and stray. I'm a misty thing. What is my name? Do 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 Riddle number two. All right, 
right, here we go. I'm a treat. I rhyme with take, make, fake, and stake. What am I? Banana. Riddle number three. I. Sorry, I am Harley Quinn's pet name for the Joker. What is this pet name? Do 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 Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, riddle number four. I could be made from cane or beet. Bleached so that I look like snow. And I taste sweet. What am I? Da na 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 da na na ba na na ba na 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 ba na 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 Riddle number five also made from cane unbleached it is the molasses I retain what is my name Riddle number six. I am a powder. I am red. Added to sweets and butter on bread. What am I? Seven. I am a liquid that rhymes with foil, toil, boil, and soil. What am I? Riddle number. Ooh. Riddle number eight. Aguamente! It's the spell that you cast in order to get this particular element. What is the element? Aguamente! Hmm. Do 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 Riddle number nine. Through year, though years may pass, I stay young at heart. In your moments of joy, I take part. What am I with age? A work of art. Name me. <laughs> Riddle number 10 Encased in a shell I can be the start of life Or a delicious meal <laughs> What am I? Hmm, I wonder how many of these riddles you were able to solve. Let's find out right now because I'm getting into the cook and this is an awesome follow up to the Groo Crew. Turkey Tetrazzini. 
And riddle number one, I rhyme with tray, bray, fray, and stray. What am I? Spray. I will need cooking spray uh, for this recipe, just like the one you used for the other. For the last recipe, use the same spray. <laughs> riddle number two, I am a treat. I rhyme with bake, make, fake, and steak. What am I? It's a cake. And in this case, we'll need one. It's a 15.25 ounce package of yellow cake mix. All right, here we go. In riddle number three, I am Harley Quinn's pet name for the Joker. What is this pet name? Put in. And we're going to need, <laughs> for this recipe, one three ounce package of instant vanilla pudding mix. All right, here we go. I can be made from cane or beet, bleached to look like snow, and a tasty, I taste sweet. What am I? It's regular white sugar, and we'll need a quarter cup of this white sugar for the recipe. In riddle number five, also made from cane, unbleached, it is molasses that I retain, giving it its color and its name. What is its name? Brown sugar. And we'll need a quarter cup of brown sugar for this recipe. And in riddle number six, I am a powder, I am red, added to sweets or a butter on bread. I am cinnamon, the ground cinnamon. You know, like cinnamon toast, you put it on buttered bread, it's really lovely. And you'll need two teaspoons of the ground cinnamon for this recipe. In riddle number seven, I am a liquid that rhymes with foil, toil, and soil. What am I? Oil. And we need, in this case, ooh, let me just check that. Three quarter cup, oh wait, we need three quarter cup of vegetable oil for this recipe. Now I love this one. In riddle number eight, Aguamente. This is a spell that's cast to get a particular element. What is the element? Agua, aqua, water. We're gonna need three quarter cups of water for this recipe. In riddle number nine, Okay, through though the years may pass, I stay young at heart. In the moments of joy, I take part. What am I with age, a work of art? We're talking about wine. It's the same white wine we've used for the Minion Bellini and Gru's te Turkey Tetrazzini. We're going to use the same wine right here, right now. And here, what we're going to need is exactly a half cup of the white wine using the same bread that you've already used for the other two things so that this whole dish comes together with the same flavor palette and nothing clashes in your stomach. That's important. And uh, that's it. Riddle number 10, encased in a shell, I can be the start of life. Or a delicious meal. <laughs> that sounds kind of like it belongs in a horror movie. But really, it's eggs. <laughs> Four eggs. They could either be the eggs that are fertilized and give us little chickies. Or we can not allow a rooster to live on that farm and collect those eggs. And we get scrambled eggs for breakfast, sunny side up and everything. All right. <laughs> Which we do. So, Venus, you may want to ask, what does this make? How about wait? I can't tell you what this is until we complete round three, part B. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. There has to be part B for this, but you're going to love me for it when you find out why. So here we go. Here's the last round. Riddle me this. Horses like to eat my cubes. Pilgrims bought me as a comb. Chunks of me were served with tea. Today, I'm sold in granules. What am I? Do, 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 do. Riddle number two. Best to churn me on a rainy day. Tasty to spread me on toast. Hooray! What am I? Diddy, 
Riddle number three. In a barrel to age me, on Papa Cork to savor me, what am I? <laughs> Can you guess? Can they guess? I don't know. Hmm. Riddle number four. I am the snow in your gingerbread house and the topping on your coffee cake. What am I? Do 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 all right, here we go. That's all there is. So in riddle number one, horses like to eat my cubes. Pilgrims bought me as a cone. Chunks of me, or I should say lumps of me, were served with tea. Today, I'm sold in granules. What am I? Sugar. And we're going to need a half cup of white sugar for this recipe. In riddle number two, best to churn me on a rainy day. Tasty to spread me on toast. Hooray. What am I? Butter. And we'll need a quarter cup butter for this recipe. Riddle number three, in a barrel to age me, on pop a cork to savor me, you use me to celebrate with. What am I? White wine, same white wine we've used for everything else today. Maybe you need two bottles, hooray. <laughs> we'll need a quarter cup white wine for this recipe. And there's nothing wrong with using the non-alcoholic wines if you're not a drinker, just to have that flavor. All right, riddle number four, I am the snow on your gingerbread house and the topping on your coffee cake. What am I? We're talking about confectioner's sugar. You might call it super fine. And you'll need one tablespoonful or as needed for this recipe. Well, I'm so now you can ask me what this makes and I'll tell you it's white wine minion pound cake. You heard me right, white wine minion pound cake. It's delicious, it's a lovely follow up to the Tetrazzini and it goes wonderfully well paired with your Minion Bellini. Here's how we make it. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay, we're gonna preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and you're gonna spray a fluted basic filter tube pan um, such as uh, like the blunt cake pan. So it's got like that donor hole thing sticking up in the middle. Uh, with cooking spray and you're going to lightly um, coat with flour after that. Now, whisk the cake mix and the pudding mix, mix that you've got. You need a quarter cup of white sugar, brown sugar, and the cinnamon together in a bowl. All right, you're going to beat the vegetable oil, the water, and a half cup of white wine and the eggs into the flour mixture. You do it a bit at a time so it's consistent using an electric mixer until the batter is smooth. Don't forget to push it down on the edges with the spatula so it all gets in there and get mixed together very well. You're going to pour this batter into the prepared bun pan. Okay, bake in the preheated oven until a toothpick inserted in the center of the cake comes out clean. This will take about one hour. Then you're going to cool the cake in the pan on a wire rack for another hour. Please be patient. It is worth it. You might want to prep this in advance before you sit everybody down for dinner, of course. Now, you're going to combine the half cup of white sugar, butter, quarter cup of white wine together in a saucepan immediately after removing the cake from the oven. You're going to coat the sugar mixture, stirring constantly over medium heat, add sugar, okay, and the sugar is dissolved and the butter is melted. And it, it'll take three to five minutes, but stay with it, it's going to go fast. Spoon the half of the glaze over the cake while the cake is still warm and cooling. Don't be afraid to do it. Now invert the cooked cake onto a cake plate and spoon the remaining glaze over the top of this cake. Allow the cake to absorb the glaze and that'll take one to five minutes. Dust the cake 
with the confectures or super fine sugar on top, dust it lightly, and voila. Now here's some chef notes about this. Why wine minion pound cake? <laughs> pound cake. Um, so to make the minions down on the surface or the sides of the cake, uh, what you could do if um, once it's cooled is you can actually just draw the face using um, cake gels, cake icings, or what I do is get a Twinkie and I just cut one rounded end off so it could sit on top of the bunk cake like it's riding a horse or so it's riding the roll. And you put these little Twinkies there and you can make faces using the icing sugar or the icing jellies on the Twinkies. And I take those little round um, Pez candies and, and I stick them inside the icing which will hold it. So I'll use like the dark gel to make this strip for the, the goggle band and then I placed the little Pez as the, as the eyeball in the middle. And if you go to a cake decorating store and you're the type of person that buys the little pre-made hard icing pieces, you can find little eyeballs, icing eyeballs, <laughs> to stick them on top of the Twinkies. Um, that ride the, the cake roll. <laughs> um, but that's up to you. But um, don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I'm gonna show you what this a finished product could look like um, using the gels and the icing. All right, so here we go. So of course this is um, after a cross section has been cut off of your roll. Isn't it awesome? This, it's great and it's so nice. Let's take a big, ooh, yes, we like that. Crew, crew, la 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 la. And that's it, take a look at that. All that is is just a little bit of icing or jam and uh, like a little icing dot. You could just draw it right on, or you can add the little Pez candy thingies, or the pre-made icing eyeballs from a cake bake store, depending on what you think is. So here's the whole meal. Let me bring it all out for you. Um, we're gonna show you the whole thing all together. So we've got our Minion Bellini. We've got our Gruz Tetrazzini, turkey style. And we've got the white wine minion pound cake. All of it with the same wine, so expensive or cheap. Whatever you enjoy eating the most, uh, drinking the most, the flavor, bring it through to all the layers of what you're cooking. Um, yeah. So when the f cake is finally fully cooled, you can create the um, shape of the chocolate frosting, berry jam, to make the goggles band and the little smile. You can cut a piece of round fondant for the eyeball or pre-buy those, make your own icing eyeballs. And um, you can make a chocolate pupil too if you're working with chocolate. Or you can take the top of a biscuit off of an Oreo cookie and like those minis and place it so that the white side is up. And you just hold that in with a little bit of icing. We'll hold it right on there um, to make your bun cake look like a row of minions. Or one big long minion. <laughs> well, everyone, I know I took my time with this episode, but I hope you found it fun, inspiring. Um, I hope you try it out and tell me in the comments um, how you liked it and or how you would personalize it to feed your Gru's crew. Okay, this is Venus Kalita wishing you bon appetit and banana.